Hello everyone, welcome to another new video. Here in this video, uh, we will study about Sadda Fall. How can we design Sadda Fall? Okay, so we have uh, one question here. You can see this is a question related to the designing of Sadda Fall, and the Sadda Fall is also uh, known as vertical type fall or vertical drop fall. So let's see the question. Uh, we have question here design of 1.5 meter Sadda Fall type for a canal carrying a discharge of 12 qmax that is meter cube per second with the following data so uh, we have given our head this data and the bed level of upstream equal to uh, 103 meters bed level of downstream 101.5 meters side slope channel 1 is to 1 full supply level uh, 104.5 bed width upstream and uh, downstream uh, equal to 10 meter uh, swell type good loam and uh, blaze coefficient equal to 6 so this question is given over here we have to design a sarda fall or vertical uh, type fall or vertical drop okay and this question is asked in uh, Pokhara University more than uh, 10 times okay you can see here uh, 13 14 15 18 16 18 okay so uh, this question will be very important for our final examination okay so uh, you must see this video until uh, last okay so uh, before starting the numerical let's uh, see some concept uh, related to Sarda fall okay uh, that we must know so you can see here this is the uh, type of Sarda fall okay as i told uh, this is also called vertical drop um, vertical type fall and this is also called vertical drop okay so uh, first thing you have to know uh, what is the Sarda fall so you can see here uh, in this uh, figure uh, this is a Sarda fall type and uh, water comes from here the discharge of water comes from here and uh, this is the top crest okay this is the top crest part and water falls from here uh, you can so as uh, in this way okay so this is the uh, fall of water from here and whenever the water falls from here uh, what actually vertical falls uh, does here uh, we, we are going to see so let's see here uh, this is like this okay uh, the water falls from uh, the top most of the crest this is the top of the crest okay so you can see here this is a uh, crest and this is the top of the crest and water falls from here okay after the falling uh, water what does uh, actually vertical fall does here let's see uh, whenever the natural available ground slope is stiffer okay this is stiffer and uh, stiffer than the design bed slope of the channel okay uh, then source drop is uh, natural the difference is adjusted by constructing the uh, vertical slope of the channel drop or vertical fall canal bed is not stable that's why uh, in order to detain the uh, drop the masonry structure is uh, constructed okay uh, vertical drop slope of the vertical drop or in in order to retain the uh, drop of the masonry a structure is uh, provided over here and this is called the Sada type of fall okay so uh, now let's see uh, there is a different uh, terminology you can see here this is the uh, hl hl means the difference between uh, of steam uh, fsl simply fsl mean, means full supply level and you can see here this is the down steam hf here this is uh, this is high fluid level you can say simply high fluid level is equal to the uh, full supply level okay both are the same and uh, here you can see this is the downstream of the bed uh, this is upstream of bed and this is upstream of bed and this is the downstream of bed okay so uh, you can see here this is the level difference here 
uh, this is the upstream bed and this is downstream bed here is the level difference uh, is here you can see and uh, here above the crest this is the top of the crest and above the crest there is a uh, upstream uh, full supply level you can see here simply the full supply level is denoted by fsl so here is the full supply level and uh, above the full supply level there is a upstream uh, total energy level tel means uh, simply total energy level okay and uh, the difference between uh, this uh, of steam uh, full supply level and the top crest this is called top crest uh, the di difference between these two is denoted by simply uh, a small h okay of steam uh, full supply level and top of the crest is uh, simply a small h and the of steam total energy level that is tel and the to top of the crest is denoted by capital h okay uh, this terminology you must know before the uh, starting the numerical this is a small h and this is the capital h okay and the distance uh, between the top of the crest uh, to the downstream of bed is simply denoted by a small d okay this is a small d uh, distance from the top of the crest uh, to the downstream of the bed level okay this is denoted by a small d and the water uh, level depth of water is denoted by simply s here is provided water okay uh, whenever the water falls from the hair uh, it uh, erodes the soil provided over here so uh, to prevent the erosion of soil uh, we provide the some level of the water uh, you can see here this is the level of water and that is uh, x okay uh, up to the downstream of bed so there is provided a water to prevent of erosion from the so erosion of soil okay whenever the uh, water falls from here and you can see here this is hl hl means simply head difference head difference is the uh, you can see here this is the difference between of steam of uh, full supply level to the downstream of uh, high fluid level okay so this is the difference between the uh, head difference that is hl okay so this is the basic terminology that we must know uh, before the solving the numerical and head difference can be simply uh, find by the using b a square by 2d as you know okay so uh, now let's see and uh, one important thing, thing is here you can see uh, this difference uh, this is the uh, from the uh, of steam full supply level to the of steam of the total energy level this is the velocity head you can see here this is the velocity head this is very important you must uh, know about this and the uh, height of water uh, height of water is uh, you can see simply uh, from the of steam of the bed to the of steam of full supply level is the height of uh, water you can simply uh, share this distance is the uh, height of water height of water okay okay uh, you can see here uh, whenever the water falls from the uh, top of the crest the height of water is from the of steam of the bed to the of steam of the full supply level this is the height of water okay now let's see the design criteria of a rectangular or trapezoidal uh, crest so you can see here uh, this is the rectangular type of crest and this is the uh, trapezoidal type of crest uh, we have the criteria for providing these two okay so uh, let's see the criteria when we provide a uh, rectangular crest and uh, whether we provide the trapezoidal crest so uh, this depends upon the uh, discharge come from the uh, coming from uh, this layer this okay so uh, let's see here you can see and when the discharge discharge is greater than uh, 14 you can see here this is the 
uh, design criteria for the trapezoidal case uh, as I said and this is the design criteria for the rectangular crest okay I will show you again this is the rectangular type of crest and this is the trapezoidal type of crest okay so providing for uh, either rectangular or either trapezoidal we have to satisfy this condition okay so let's see this condition and condition for the trapezoidal crest whenever we provide a tra uh, trapezoidal crest the discharge must be greater or equal to 14 okay uh, then we provide trapezoidal crest and whenever the discharge is uh, less than 14 that is rectangular crest okay so uh, basic uh, basis on the these two discharge of, um, given in the question you can see here uh, design a sada fall type of fall canal carrying a discharge of 12 qmax with the data uh, the discharge is given over here is 12 qmax that is 12 meter cube per second so uh, this uh, range falls in the uh, trapezoidal crest okay trapezoidal crest which is greater than 14 but we have given over here uh, discharge is 14 so uh, this falls in the criteria of rectangular crest okay discharge is smaller than 14 so we have to provide the rectangular crest okay and uh, whenever we provide a rectangular crest the uh, these uh, things uh, you have to we have to calculate so let's see here whenever we provide rectangular crest and uh, the discharge is less than 14 then bt bt equal to top of uh, width of crest equal to 0 0.55 uh, root under d okay and uh, you can see the bt means uh, top width of crest top width of crest i can show you here you can see uh, this is the bt okay this is bt and this is called a uh, top width of crest that is uh, equal to 0 0.55 root under d and uh, base width equal to h plus d by 2 what is h i will uh, i already uh, discuss about the h and d you can see here this is the small h the level difference between the upper stream of the full supply level to the top of the crest this is denoted by a small h and the uh, d d is uh, simply uh, from the down stream of bay to the top of the crest this is the d okay so you can find the base width base width equal to h plus uh, d by 2 okay so this is the uh, base width and uh, you can um, find the bt top width by the using this formula we have given over here the discharge q and uh, by the using this formula bt can be simply calculated so q equal to 1.84 lh uh, to the power 3 by 2 h by bt uh, to the whole power 1 by 6 okay so uh, by the using this formula the rectangular uh, crest uh, different parameter of rectangular crest can be calculated okay and whenever the discharge is greater or equal to 14 then we have to provide the trapezoidal crest for the uh, trapezoidal crest you can see here uh, discharge must be greater or equal to 14 meter cube per second for this on uh, the top width of crest that is bt equal to 0 0.55 root under d plus h simply like the uh, rectangular crest but we have to add uh, the value of h okay capital h what is the capital h the capital h is the level difference between the upper steam of the total energy level to the uh, top of the crest as i said here okay top steam of the total energy level to the top of the crest is denoted by capital h okay so we have to add capital h uh, to the initial formula so you can see here 0 0.55 root under h for the rectangular crest but for a trapezoidal crest we have to add root under 0 0.55 0 0.55 root under d plus h uh, h is extra we have to add here for the base of a top width of a crest that is bt and base width equal to determined by the batters and the discharge q equal to 1.99 lhq you can see here this is the constant 1.84 for the rectangular crest but for the trapezoidal crest we have the constant uh, 1.84 instead of this uh, we will use the constant is 1.99 okay and other uh, things is same uh, as a rectangular crest you can see here these uh, both formula are the same Q equal to 1.8 for LHQ and uh, here is also LA, LH3 by 2 LH3 by 2 and H by BT to the power 1 by 6 and in this also 1 by 6 only things is change is here the constant 
for the rectangular 1.84 and for the trapezoidal the constant is 1.99 okay so this is the basic difference uh, for the providing rectangular crest and trapezoidal crest okay i hope uh, you guys are understanding well if you have any queries please comment down below and the length of crest that is capital l i have shown you here is the capital l i already told you about h and bt but here uh, capital l is unknown okay so let's uh, see what is capital l so capital l is simply length of the crest okay and length of the crest is always equal to the down steam of the bed with the uh, width of the canal okay down steam bed width of the canal is called the uh, length of the crest uh, but you can see here in the question given bed width of steam and down steam equal to 10 meter it means uh, it can simply say that the bed width of of steam is equal to the bed width of the down steam that's why uh, we use the length of crest equal to down steam of the uh, bed width of the canal okay so simply length of the crest equal to uh, bed width of of steam and down steam that is 10 meter okay so length of crest is taken 10 meter so you must remember these uh, things after knowing these all parameters you can simply design the sarda fall okay uh, whenever the data uh, will comes uh, with the changes some so uh, you must know these all the parameters as i told you uh, what is the capital l small l small h uh, bt dx uh, and hl okay so uh, these all parameters uh, you must know before the solving the numerical and uh, let's start the solving the numerical this uh, we have question uh, given over here um, okay now we have to solve uh, this numerical and design the sada fall so let's see steps one by one okay um, but in this video this video will be very long so uh, let's uh, start solution of this uh, in next video okay and uh, if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and like the video so you will get uh, regular update okay and uh, thank you very much and you must see the numerical related to the, this uh, solution in next video okay so till the time stay tuned thank you very much see you in next video